Hey, AJ here from 3D Printing Systems. Quick maintenance video for you today on how to diagnose issues with your heated platform and replace it with parts that may have been sent to you. So if you've been sent parts to resolve issues with your heated platform, uh, first thing you want to do is set them up on the outside of the printer rather than installing them uh, to see if you can diagnose where the issue is and to make sure that everything's working before you put them all in the printer. So we'll start over here with the first component we've installed. This is a brand new motherboard. So removing the old one is as simple as unplugging all of these wires, making sure that you don't pull on the cables, rather that you pull on the plugs using a pair of pliers if you need to. Um, putting the new motherboard in with the CPU of the old motherboard attached as well, or if you received new CPU, putting that in or leaving it with the new motherboard that you received. Next, we'll move the old platform heater cable out of the way, and we've plugged in an external platform heater cable. That's this big rainbow one with the sheath on it. So coming around to the next component that it leads to, this piece over here is our display board. Um, got your Upbox logo LEDs on it usually. So here we've got it set up externally again. Just looking at the back, all we've plugged in at the moment is the rainbow cable to our display board. And that leads to the next component, which is this white, foot, white cable down here. Now the way that we have this installed, it will have metal contacts on one side and a blue strip on the other. You want the metal contacts to be facing you when you're installing it. Now to remove your old one and install the new one, there's a black slide clip just here, which you can slide outward using your fingernail on each side. That will release pressure on the cable for you to put the new one in. Uh, so release the pressure, put the new one in, slide that back into place, and then that goes to our last component here, which is your heated platform. Heated platform has the same sort of clip. So we've got the black slide clip, which needs to come outward to release pressure. New cable goes in again with the contacts facing you and the blue strip side down, touching towards the board, and then slide that clip back into place. Now what you can do from here is attach your USB to the printer, plug your power in, plug your power in, power your printer on, and then start performing a preheat. We don't want to heat it up all the way, but we'll perform a preheat as a test to make sure that it does start heating up. So once you've performed your preheat, there's two things that we're looking for. Number one is in the software with the temperature sensor and the maintenance window. Now it's going to give you a reading in degrees Celsius of how hot your platform is. You want to make sure it's heating to between 30 to 40 degrees and then you can stop it. You don't want to heat it all the way up because it depends what type of surface that your heater is on. You don't want it to damage it and get hot while it's outside of the printer. So between 30 and 40 degrees will give you a good idea that it is actually working and it is actually heating. The other thing you want to check for is that the board itself is physically hot to touch. Now again, it's only, you only want it to get up to 30, 40 degrees before you click stop preheat uh, and then make sure that it is getting warm, turn it off, shut your printer down and you can move on to the next step of actually installing the components.